Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Earth Science Regents Review podcast series created by Hamix Middle School Earth Science Department. Today, we're going to be talking a little bit about your page two in the reference table, your landscape map. Well, before we actually get into the different features here, you have a couple pieces of information at the bottom of this map you need to know. First off, you have your major boundaries, whether it's your province boundaries, your landscape boundaries, your state or international boundaries. And you also have a scale at the bottom for miles and kilometers and also your compass directions. The great thing about New York State is that we actually have all three types of landscape features. Let's jump into it. Up in Canada, you actually have some interior lowlands. You have plains regions that are also found in New York State as well. Plains, remember, have a very low relief and they're relatively flat with sedimentary rock. So you have the Erie Ontario lowlands, the St. Lawrence lowlands, the Champlain lowlands, the Hudson Mohawk lowlands, the Newark lowlands, and Long Island, which is called the Atlantic Coastal Plain. The second type of landscape feature is a plateau. Plateaus tend to have a little bit of a higher relief and they tend to be relatively flat, but again, they're still gonna be made up of sedimentary rock. So the Appalachian Plateau, which extends well down into the Kentucky region, is a major feature just south of New York State through Pennsylvania. The northern part of the Appalachian Plateau is what we call the Allegheny Plateau, and a special section of the Allegheny Plateau is what we call the Catskills. Now the Catskills are not true mountains, because they're made up of sedimentary rock. You also have the Tug Hill Plateau as well. The third feature we have are the mountains. You have the Grenville Province, which are highlands or mountains up in Canada. You have the Adirondack Mountains, the Taconic Mountains, the Hudson Highlands, and the New England Province, which extends up into Vermont. So you can see here that these regions are strictly made up of metamorphic rock, which indicates a much higher relief. So your much higher relief are gonna be your true mountain ranges. Now the one feature that doesn't fit into a nice category is a feature that Westchester County is found in, and that's going to be the Manhattan Prong. And the Manhattan Prong is a special feature because you really have a variety of rock types. You do have sedimentary, you have some metamorphic, you can get some igneous in here as well. And you also have such a dramatic change in elevation over a short period of time. This part of New York State doesn't fit into a nice neat category, so it's called the Manhattan Prong. Now, one thing that you can link page two up with, you can link this up with page three, and that's gonna be your bedrock map of New York State. There's also gonna be another podcast on this that shows you the relative ages and the actual rock types of those landscape features. So with that being said, make sure you check out the bedrock map podcast, uh, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.